What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're just stumbling across this video, my name is Izzy. I'm also a content creator on Instagram and my handle is at Izzy Dilge. So make sure you check that out as well for lots of fashion and lifestyle content. So today's video is going to be what I eat in a day because it's one of the things that I get asked to do a video on quite a lot, finally getting around to it. With that being said, I just want to preface this video with saying that just because this is how I schedule my like eating and this is like what works for me doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be what works for you. Everyone's body is super different and it took me kind of a long time to figure out like what worked for me as well because I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried like eating lots of small meals during the day, but I didn't really like that. I've tried fasting, I've tried just like eating three meals a day. I've tried like a lot of different things. And finally, in the last few years, kind of figured out what really works for me, so I've stuck with it. But like I said, might not work for you. So just take this with a grain of salt and we'll go from there. So I guess I'll just kick things off by saying that I do fast. So I typically start my day with coffee. As you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I work full time as well as doing Instagram and YouTube on the side. So I am still working from home. I have been for like just over a year now. So my schedule has changed from kind of like how I used to eat before to fit into this new like work from home situation. So I'm obviously going to show you like what I've been doing lately because who knows how much longer I'm going to be working from home, but I'm rambling now. So I start my day with coffee at about 8 a.m. with a bit of cream, splash of cream. Have not found a non-dairy alternative. I don't eat a ton of dairy other than cheese, really, just because my stomach doesn't love dairy, but I'll never be able to give up cheese. So it's just, it is what it is. But yeah, have not found a good alternative for cream in my coffee. So I still put a, spa a splash of either half and half or full coffee cream in my coffee every morning. And that's just kind of how I start my day. And also, Along with that, or sometimes before that, I have gotten back into the habit of doing an, a shot of apple cider vinegar just to kind of kickstart my digestion in the morning. It's good for like healthy um, bacteria and gut health and like, probiotics and all that stuff. But yeah, it's good for your digestion and just to get your like system started in the morning. So I have brought that back into my routine lately. So just having a few sips of my coffee and then I'm gonna go take a little shot of apple cider vinegar to chase her down with. So when I said a shot of apple cider vinegar, I actually meant a shot. Like I do it in a shot glass just to get it over with because it's kind of, it's not the best, it's kind of gross. So I do like one quarter apple cider vinegar. Oh, yuck. <laughs> okay, we're getting near the bottom of the bottle, so there was a little chunk. I freaked out. We're fine. And then I do the rest with water. So it's like one quarter apple cider vinegar and then the rest water. Cheers. <sighs> Not great. Aftertaste is okay. It kind of burns a little bit, but it's great for the digestion, so we're going to keep doing it. Okay, now that we got that over with, I'm gonna go crush some emails for a little bit. And then around 12 o'clock, I usually make lunch or sometimes just after I'm, if I'm going to the gym at 12. So I pretty much have my coffee first thing in the morning, have my shot of apple cider vinegar. And then I usually don't really eat until like 12 or one, unless I get really hungry, I don't like starve myself. But that, that time frame, it just gives me some time for my like guts to get working and stuff. I try to stop eating at like eight. Sometimes in the summer it's hard because it stays light out late. So sometimes I don't end up eating dinner till like 9 p.m., which isn't the best, but I try to kind of fast from like dinner the night before until I eat lunch the next day except for my coffee and my little apple cider vinegar. Sometimes I work out first thing in the morning, so I'll get hungry around like 10, so I might make a smoothie or something, but today, I'm actually not working out today, so I'm going to have lunch whenever I get hungry between like 12 and one, and then sometimes I have an afternoon snack, and then I have dinner, and then sometimes something sweet after dinner if I'm craving it. Um, sometimes it's healthier, healthier than others, but generally that is my weekday eating schedule. Weekends, I'm a bit more of like a loose cannon. I feel like I try to eat healthier Monday to Friday. It doesn't always happen, but that's kind of my days that I try to eat better. The weekends, I just kind of do what I want. 
I don't count calories. I don't do anything like that, but I try to like stick to healthy-ish foods during the week. And then on weekends, I just kind of let loose a little bit more. I usually eat out more, like go out for dinner with friends and that kind of thing. So that's the gist of it. And I'll see you at lunchtime. Okay, I'm cooking up my lunch now. I have a veggie burger patty cooking. It's these um, Dr. Prager's burgers. I've posted about them on my stories a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm obsessed with these. They are the California style veggie burgers. So they've got like corn and I lied, they don't have corn in them. They have peas, zucchini, carrots, and spinach. So they're full of veggies and they're gluten-free because I forgot to mention earlier, but I am gluten intolerant. So nothing that I cook has gluten in it, obviously. These are really, really good and they're pretty clean. They're non-GMO, which I always like as well. So I'm just cooking one of those up and then I'm gonna kind of crumble it on top of the salad that I'm making. I'm just kind of throwing together like a contents of the fridge type of salad. So I've got some veggies, I've got some feta, also from Costco. This is the best feta. It's like the crumbly kind that doesn't come in brine, which I really like. I find it keeps longer too. And then this is just leftover quinoa. I usually cook it in like pretty big batches and then just have it on hand to sprinkle on top of salads and then I'll just probably toss together a little salad dressing and throw it in a bowl and away we go. I'm all about really easy meals that are like still healthy, have different aspects. Like we have a carb, quinoa also has some protein. And then the burger also has like a bit of like plant-based protein in it as well. So I always try to include some protein in my lunch. And if I'm not doing like a veggie burger or something, I'll use like maybe a can of tuna and make kind of like a tuna salad because I always have cans of tuna on hand because they're just like a really good source of protein to add to salad so that is kind of the gist of what my lunches typically look like and if i'm not making a salad i'm probably making a smoothie because i am obsessed with smoothies as well but today we're having a salad so this is kind of what we're looking at for today's toppings the base i just used spinach today i love mixed greens but didn't have any also love arugula also didn't have any so spinach it is and then i have some quinoa I'm gonna toss the feta on the burger just like chopped up gonna mix it in there avocado little yellow cherry tomatoes which are so delicious um, that i randomly found at the store and then cucumber and then i'll toss on some dressing and away we go so pretty much just chucked her all together in a bowl and then for dressing i always well not always but one of my favorite dressings that's super easy is just apple cider vinegar maple syrup and Dijon, like grainy Dijon. Easiest dressing ever, three ingredients. Love easy <laughs> recipes, obviously. So that's kind of my go-to for dressing. And if you don't have maple syrup, you can also do honey. It's just as good. Just drizzle some of that on and that's, that's my lunch. That's pretty much what it is. And then I'll probably take it to my desk and do a little bit more work. And then I'm eating kind of late today. It's like one o'clock already. So probably won't have a snack this afternoon. But if I did, one of my favorite snacks that's also pretty healthy, but really good is apple chopped up into slices with almond butter drizzled on top and then hemp, hemp hearts like sprinkled on the top as well, which are also a really good source of like good fat and protein, and really tasty. So I'm gonna go eat this now. Okay, another thing I forgot to mention, how much water I drink, try to drink in a day, keyword try, because I haven't been drinking enough water lately, but this water bottle, I bought it last year and I used to be really consistent at drinking a full one of these every day at least, but I haven't been as good lately. So I've started using it again. Um, and it kind of has little markers of like how much water you should drink at each point in the day. It's like the best thing I've ever bought. It's just from Amazon, I'll link it below so you guys can shop it. But yeah, I'm trying to get back in the habit of drinking at least one of these a day, just at my desk. And then I usually drink like at least another full bottle of water at the gym as well. Okay, we're back. It is time for dinner. So I'm just kind of starting to get things prepared. My afternoon snack today, which is like, it's like 7 p.m. now, so it's not really an afternoon snack, but um, I've been loving kombucha lately. I really like this brand. It's a local BC one called Bucha Brew. They've got tons of different flavors, but this one's my favorite. It's called Passion Fruit and it's delicious. Kind of takes the edge off of like feeling like having a happy hour drink too because it's got the fizz and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of what I have been drinking lately to just like keep me company while I'm cooking dinner. So anyway, tonight I am making Mexican burrito bowls. Even though I kind of had like a bowl style thing for lunch today, I was just really on the bowl trend. So I'm just making some rice, my little rice cooker back there. And I have chicken that I'm gonna, just gonna literally fry in a pan with um, sriracha, I think, to make it a little bit spicy. And then I have some corn and beans that I'll probably mix together with some 
chopped up tomatoes and jalapenos to make like kind of a little salsa. And then I got some mixed greens as well. This is our favorite. This is what I usually like to have with my lunches as well. It's the Earthbound Farms herb salad. It's my favorite of all of like the different salad and spring mixes because it's got it's got some herbs in it too mixed in with like the lettuce leaves. So I'm just trying to remember what's in here, but oh yeah, there's cilantro, dill, and parsley mixed in with the greens, so it's like extra flavorful. It's really good. And then gotta get your cheese. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to shredded cheese. If it's on sale, I'll just like always kind of have a bag in the fridge because it's really easy to use for like bowls and pizzas and that kind of thing to just sprinkle on top of stuff. So that is what's on the menu. I'm gonna get started kind of chopping stuff up and getting it prepped and then try to have dinner at a reasonable hour tonight. So let's get it underway. Okay, chicken's all done. Just added the sriracha and we are almost done with the rice now too. Looks like it's finished. And here's like a little peek at what the salsa looks like. If you can call it a salsa, it's just tomato, corn, black beans, and jalapenos. It's kind of spicy, just gave it a taster. Um, so now I'm pretty much ready to build the bowl. Also, I should probably mention I made a lot of everything because for bowl type meals like this, I really like having leftovers and that's sometimes what I'll have for lunch the next day. So. For this kind of thing, I will definitely be wanting to have this for leftovers. So I made lots of chicken, lots of rice, and lots of salsa. And also to feed Chris, like this is for two people, so not just me. But yeah, that's the gist. I guess some of our other favorite dinner concepts, we love Greek food. We love just making like chicken, Greek salad, and having it with sometimes rice, sometimes potatoes, and tzatziki. And we also just love doing like grill nights. So we'll do like a salad with like roasted potatoes and then something on the barbecue, like skewers or steak or that kind of thing. I would say those are kind of like our staple meals. But for other fun meal ideas, Chris and I, we haven't posted in a while, but we were doing pretty consistent cook with us. Whoa almost dropped my phone, cook with us videos. So like every two weeks we would do like another cooking video. So we haven't done that in a while, but you can totally check that out on my channel for more fun meal ideas of what we typically cook in our house. Oh, I just made the aioli to put on the top <clears throat> and she's spicy. So my throat is like <clears throat> on fire. All good. It's literally two ingredient aioli. It's the easiest thing ever. It's just, literally mayonnaise and sriracha. I just have this Hellman's mayonnaise with olive oil. And then I add a little bit of water to kind of thin it out and make it a sauce. I'm gonna put that on the top and then I have a little bit of avocado to put on the top and that is the finished product. It's really easy, really quick meal, pretty balanced again, like got your veggies, your carbs and your protein and some fat with the avocado. So looks good to me. I'm eating on the patio tonight because it's warm outside and it's still light out. So enjoying the warm weather while I can. And then I may or may not make dessert tonight, but my go-to dessert is nice cream. So it's like, tastes like ice cream, but there's no dairy in it. So I just use one banana frozen and then whatever fruit I feel like. So sometimes I do mango nice cream. Sometimes I do just raspberries or I'll do like mixed berry, just like a handful of those. And then like a splash of almond milk, not enough to make it like into a smoothie, but just enough to make it into like a really thick, like creamy, like ice cream essentially. And it's best to do it in the food processor if you have one, but blender works too. So I might make some of that after, but I am going to sign off now. <clears throat> that sriracha aioli is just hmm, killing me. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and informative. With that being said, just take it with a grain of salt, but figure out what works for you in terms of like what you eat per day and your diet and everything like that. But let me know if you like this video and I can try to do more of these down the road and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video. Till next time.